I have created a background lecture on the book Speak that I have read, so enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to be presenting a background lecture on the book Speak, which is going to involve facts like a biography on the author and coming up with the idea of the novel and what inspired the book to be what it is. So first, I'm going to be talking about the author herself, and her name is Lori Hulks Anderson, and she is indeed the one who wrote the book Speak. So basically, there are just some pictures of the author and previous books that she has written in the past, like Prom and Fever 1793. Here are some facts about Lori Hulks Anderson. For one, she was born on October 23, 1961 in Potsdam, New York, along with her younger sister, Lisa. She is indeed an American author who enjoys writing young adult fiction, historical fiction, and picture books for young readers. Writing was always her thing, but only when it came to writing made-up stories. The novel Speak, which is the book that I read, was really what gave her the popularity and attention that she deserved for her writing. As you can probably tell, she wants to be the voice for children, teens, and young adults who read her novels and get an idea for where she is coming from. Anderson has had two marriages in her life. From what you can see, while in the process of writing Speak, she was married to Greg Anderson, who was her first husband, but unfortunately didn't last. Although the marriage didn't last, Greg still edits her manuscripts to this day, and he also, in fact, gave ideas to Lori about Speak. One last thing to know about Anderson is that she intended on a dodge. I think I pronounced that right, community college, where she could get more credits for writing and then transferred to Georgetown University and completed her studying in literature. Going into the novel itself, Speak was published in the year 1999, so it's fairly modern and you could really relate the novel to real life situations today throughout teens' experiences in high school. Now, to summarize the book before we get to why it was written and how this girl in the top left corner came to be, the book Speak talks about a girl named Melinda Sordino, who went through an unwanted experience, which a lot of teenagers go through in today's society, which is sexual assault or rape. Usually after something like that occurs in an individual's life, they don't really want to talk about it. So the way that Melinda co coped with rape is she uses a closet in her school, which has all of her artwork of trees that she got assigned to do and paintings that she had done. I guess you could say that it is her little bubble, but not just that. The importance behind the book overall is that that is the reason for the title of the novel, Speak. Finding your voice and using it after something drastic had happened. As I have mentioned before, events that occur in the novel are real-life situations that people deal with. This book is also a coming-of-age story, which means that an individual makes a transition from childhood to adulthood, which is definitely high school. So you may ask, how did the author come up with the idea of speak? And she actually answers it in the back of the book. For one, Melinda Sordino is completely fictional and made up. The name really just popped up in Anderson's head. It all started one night when Lori Anderson, like every normal human being, has a nightmare. Now basically the nightmare consists of a girl, just sobbing. There are, there are pictures of anything in her head, it was just a cry from a girl. At the time, Anderson had two young girls who were in elementary school, so you could have gotten the idea that it was one of the two girls, but no, it was just a nightmare that led to the making of a novel titled Speak. The making of the novel took patience because Melinda was real in the author's head and it takes time for somebody to completely open up to you and that is what was going on during the process of creating the story of what happened to Melinda Sordino. Even though the novel is completely fictional, there are some parts to it that come from the author's personal experiences in her high school career. For instance, the, the novel takes place during Melinda's freshman year. When you enter high school, mostly public schools, it's scary, even when you do not know, even when you do know people. So imagine entering high school as a freshman without knowing anybody at all. And this kind of thing happens a lot. In her interview, she mentions how she goes into high school not knowing anybody, and freshman year was really a hassle for her, and not just involving school. In the novel, Melinda does not really have a good relationship with her parents, and going to school is especially chaos for her, 
and the same thing happened to the author. Anderson really brings out her teenage self in the novel and puts it into Melinda's perspective. Other things in life, like grades, they were not so awesome, and how the school mascot was a hornet, although in the book it was changed about five times till they stopped with a hornet. Overall, you could sum up that even though Speak is fiction, it gets some of its background and ideas from Laura Anderson's real-life situations. Speak could really be referred to a possible real-life situation. When you read Speak, you really have to be educated in the topic of assault and how teens as well as adults are afraid to speak up, which is why there are campaigns not just for victims of sexual assault, but for victims of bullying, like for instance, the No Hate campaign, which represents people who think differently and view the world from a different perspective than other people and get taunted for things like that, leading to being unable to speak up because they are afraid of their voices and they will be brought down and make things worse. People of all ages don't get noticed unless they do something drastic. Just because somebody is in mute doesn't mean they want to be. Melinda is that person who is in need of help. People may notice, but they don't really do anything about it, and those kind of situations inspired the book to be what it is. To get some ideas to plug into the novel, Lori Anderson spoke to the victims of sexual assault, not only female, but male as well. Her job is to really listen carefully because the main problem is that nobody really cares enough to listen. I put down a link that the author suggested for any victims who need advice, and it is also found at the end of the novel. It's pronounced rain with two n's, dot org. Okay. So because the novel was so successful, they decided to make it into a movie starring Kristen Stewart a couple years later. If you don't know her, she is from Twilight, so she should be very common. <laughs> okay, so if you really want to watch that, you can click on the link and enjoy.